hmm? from a poor family. But with all this, she said, keep herself. She kept herself for the purpose, for the glory of God. There was a lady that uh, said, someone told me, say, you know, the students in Nigeria, they don't want to be, to be a commercial prostitute, but they are looking for money to maintain themselves. But this one was not looking for money to maintain herself. And a message came to her. She, she like what I preach on, on Wednesday, she asked, why? How? There are certain things in your life that you are asking, how and why? So you become a mother. So, whoa, how? How is it going to happen? You know who I am. I'm committed and loyal. I'm still fighting. Hmm? I see Kima on the way impact. Hello? On the way what? No. And then they say, yes, I know. I know. You are. You don't, you have no relationship with nobody, you have no, no, I mean, no, this relationship that I'm talking about. But something is going to happen. There's going to be a cloud of power that will overshadow you. That cloud of power will overshadow you and make impossible possible. And I'm here to stand to say, impossible shall be possible in your life. It's blessing on Mary, the honor of being a mother, brought a lot of shame and disgrace at the initial stage. It got to a level that, you know, a girl that has, that has no sexual intercourse with nobody, that is betrothed to someone to marry, all of a sudden is pregnant. I did not blame Joseph. And Joseph was lying. <laughs> oh, he's a shame. I know I've never slept with this woman. I'm going to send her away. I'm, I'm going to divorce her. And it may not be written in the Bible. Don't you know, before that time, we were looking at me and I said, ah, shame on you. And you say you are quiet. You say, don't go out. Don't do this. Don't do that. How did you get pregnant? Oh. Oh. You thank God. There are some news that is announced in the Bible, most especially about unbelieving, I call it unbelieving miracle. Sarah and Abraham did not believe too. So they even laugh. I said, you are going to be a mother. Hey! What of Zechariah? He even doubted. But Mary said, he submitted to the will of God. She did not know how it's going to happen. They said, let his will. Let your will be done. I may not know where I'm heavy to. But I know because it comes out of your mouth, I surrender. Whatever you want me to do, Daddy, I'm ready for it. And there's no one that can fight God and win God. So at times you struggle too much. And you know he has the banner say, some of us, you, maybe what, you, what, what is happening in your life is because of disobedience. When you say go this way, you say, God, you don't understand. Let me go this way. This is where there's life here. There's life here, there's celebration here. And before you get to there, you say, you should, there's going to be life and celebration. Amen. Just learn to obey. Do not laugh. Do not doubt him. He's not a man that tells lies. Whatever he says is final. He's authentic. He's authority. But the scripture says, uh, Numbers 23, 19, he says, not a man that tells lies. Or oh, the son of man that repents and say, you know what I said, I'm not saying it. If God said tomorrow, unless you shall become a millionaire, don't query him. Hello? Yeah. If you say you are going to have your own business, don't say, how is it going to happen? The same thing Mary said, how is it going to happen? They say the power of God shall overshadow you. So the same power of God can overshadow you. Yeah. Now, when you, God is giving you a goal or a vision, like Mary, she was pregnant, who do you associate yourself with? Who is your associate? Whom do you hang in or hang out or hang on with? I'm hanging around with my friends. I hope you are hanging around with the right friends. A chicken, when a chicken or an eagle hang around with a chicken, it will end up becoming a chicken. Your association will determine your elevation. Your association will determine what? Because assuming Mary decided to go to someone who does not know 
the value or the power of the Holy Spirit, he could have advised her, go and do, the, go and do abortion. Get rid of it. This is this case. Get rid of it. Ah, uh -uh. Hey, hey, hey. What will people say? Get rid of it. No, no. no. I, I can take it to my doctor. I will give you the money. You pay me after. <laughs> but what did Mary do? Mary went straight to Elizabeth. Mary went here. Yeah? <laughs> Whom do you discuss your dream with? How do you discuss it with dream killers? With people that doesn't want you to go take a step ahead of where you are now? The people that does not want your destiny to talk or to speak? Whom do you discuss with? Whom do you tell your secret? You say, I will discuss with my friend. Maybe your friend does not even want you to get from where you are. He also, okay, he said, he's looking at you. He said, okay, we will see. Bible says, they hang, they live together for three months. Live together for three months. And in these three months, they were encouraging each other. Because when I have a vision in me, anyone that cannot embrace my vision will not embrace my success. When you have a friend, whenever you share your vision and he always discourages you, that's not your friend. Whenever you are planning to take a step ahead, say, ah, don't, you order, don't you enjoy this place? Those are lots in your life. When you don't let go of lots, you will be in stagnant and you will be limited. You have to let go of lots so that you can have a lot. Some of, some of us, you keep yourself stagnant. You say, it's my sister, it's my uncle. It's my uncle. That uncle, I can't do anything without telling the uncle. The uncle devil can make you the uncle and keep you in a place for long. But when you take your dream to someone that has the same life pattern with you, to someone that is believing God to go to a higher ground too, to so, assuming now, I say, God give me a big message to preach to the whole world. I want to preach. And someone that has been battling with the 10 members for the past 25 years, what do you think is going to tell them? Be, be okay with what you have now. What do you want? How to run? That is why. <laughs> and then you need to review your association. It gets to a level that there are some people you must let them go. Don't keep them, let them go. You can be a blessing to them, but you don't sit down and discuss no more. Maybe you are be discussing the level of one thousand dollars, and now God has blesses you. You are not discussing twenty thousand million, and you still want to be. They have the mentality they have is the mentality of one thousand. Hello, yeah. that's the mentality. They cannot do anything above that unless they get deliverance. So now you move to that level. Hello, yeah. they are discussed with you. They have the same understanding that when you say yes, they know what your yes means. Not one to say, uh, 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 no now, uh. because it's still operating in one thousand level. So when I want to move the level of overflow, I get myself out of the level of ten members. Now I move to the next level because you have to sew up to go up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Those people they have the word to give to me. Those people they have it. these people they have is to train me. All they have is for me to be listening to their complaint. But these people they have passed through where I am now. I'm good. Oh, are you getting something? I'm getting something from them now. They are lifting me up. So at times we re we review those people that are around us. We let them go. Say this one, no, 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 we have been hanging around for long. I'm not more a sheep, I'm an eagle. And eagle needs to fly. I got to fly. I have no time to waste. Uh -uh. Some of we kill some people that are wasting our time. They have nowhere to go. They are grounded already. They don't have goal. They don't have vision. Nothing motivated. But Mary decided, I'm getting out of this. You see, she left where she was. She moved to where Elizabeth was. Hallelujah. Where are you moving to now? Do you still want to be in that place? And be saying, tell me the same story? Or you are moving? Say, I'm moving. I'm moving. To the next level. To the next I am moving. I'm to the next level. Yeah. That is why in this 2009, is your year. Yeah. It's what? Yeah. It's your year. I, I, told, I told them on, on Friday, I said, you can write it down. Holy Spirit spoke to me on that year. He spoke to me. Year 2011 is a year that the wicked one. He said the wicked one will be punished in your 2009. The wicked one will be punished.
upon it. You don't need to go into prayer and fasting. It's their year of judgment. It's their year that you are going to walk and travel upon them. It's their year that you are going to exist. People must see your land. He said, you know, don't. Some people say, maybe in year 2011 is going to be better. It's not going to be It will only be better for the righteous Christians. Because God, Jesus Christ is coming back very soon. Amen. So he wants to groom people. He wants to prepare people. He wants people to see the difference in the lack of members. And to say, ah, ah, if God can do it to your life, why can't you have the same God? If God can bring you from the back seat and put you in the front seat. If God can talk, can you see what happened? On when is the Assembly Friday? One of my members called me. He said, I was fired. I said, fire? You see him? From job? You see him? I said, come with me in the church. Because we have authority that passes every, every director, uh -huh. every manager, every officer. I said, You are not fired. Go back there. Go and call them. And they call him back. Hallelujah. We have the ease because the Bible says, Those who that know their God, they shall do exploits. This is the time for us to do exploits. This is the time for us for people to know that we are serving the living and the true God. The time of pruning, you don't know what's going, what's going on. Nobody will appreciate the quality of light when there's no darkness. So now is the time for people to see the quality of the global work of God life in these dark hours. Is it the whole world now? Then one problem or the other. But this is that that you'll be saying. I can say categorically. That what God did in this church in this year, for almost five years, six years, we have never done it. We bought our church van cash free. In that we don't have no job. In the time that people are closing down. And we are saying we are going to a big auditorium. Don't you see what God is doing? It is about God. This is your season to glory capacity. Yes. There's no idea that you are it's true that we let those people let someone read the uh, Hebrew 12 one. All those great that like is not making you to, to work faster, all those things that is keeping you down, all those all those guys that comes out to those jobs to delete them from your life. So delete them. Delete them. And move forward. Move forward. In time to move forward has come. By such a great cloud mm -hmm. of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles. Can you see all those things that hinder us? All those things that is keeping us down. He said, throw it away, throw it away. Sit down, man. The only thing that something to me this morning, when uh, one of my little came to me, I told her, I said, you know what? I, said, I did not disclose. The only thing said to me, we are going to write five things. The five things you do not like. And it's not going to year 2011 with you. Yeah. We bring it in the plate on December 31st. Yeah. We are going to collect it together and send it up. Yes, we don't go so yeah. 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 There are another, uh, another five lists. Eh? Yeah. That, those are the things you need in 2011. Yeah. And we lift it unto God. Hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that is your year. Yeah. It is your year. Yeah. Yeah. We will be lifting it up. You know our 24, uh, 21. Yes, pray and fasting. Yeah. Start from January 3rd oh, to yeah. January 23rd. Yeah. Now the book right is already yeah. in place. So we be clear to lift up. There must be testimonies Amen. of our testimony. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> so those of you that, that stop dreaming, because you don't see the realization of your dream, I'm here to let you know. Tell your neighbor, start dreaming. Start dreaming. Dreaming. dreaming is good. Dreaming is good. Dreaming is good. Dreaming is good. Don't stop dreaming. Don't stop dreaming. This is your system. This is your the system. dream must come to reality. The dream must come to manifestation. Yes. Dream big. Dream big. Dream big. That is, we are still going to, you know, the people you hang around is very, very important. When you dream big and you hang around of those that don't have a dream, they will kill your dream. I remember when I went to buy my house, and Pastor Fumi was with me when we get there, and I told, I said, I now realize this house is too big. I think I will go back to the mother and pick a smaller one. 